The reality for the player now is that there has been so much success from this trip. That can come with the challenge of there is an expectation that, you know, hey, can I do the same and repeat that story? At the same time, you know, the staff has done such a good job in reiterating that how we portray ourselves both on and off the field, that's really where the success comes. Each player that we've been able to sit down and talk to, they're all dreaming big. And that's, you know, that's the goal of this is you first have to dream and then go and execute. Your challenge is, can we do even better than that tonight? Right? Can we come up with even better football? Can we come up with an even better performance? Can we come up with an even better moment? Can we come up with an even better goal? That's your challenge, right? How good as a group can you be? I did have a, a sense of like soccer serenity when I got there. I was like really so happy with the venue and it was an urban oasis, right? Where it was this little tranquil pond of proper football that was surrounded by people's houses that they could sit on the deck and watch a game. And I'm thinking, how great would that be to just watch training every day? What a great place to retire. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's kind of how I felt. I thought it was one of the most special training sites that I've seen, and I've seen a lot. For me, it was awesome. I'm really impressed with it. We all just declared ourselves ready. We're gonna go out, we're gonna play, we're gonna attack, we're gonna have fun, we're gonna score goals. All of the time and space that were there the night before just didn't exist and they had to adjust and play differently and we were behind 2 nothing after a very short period in the game and we were then scratching and fighting and clawing and finding ways to get back in. First quarter we were able, I was able to set Charlie and he scored that nice goal. I think mean, that gave us confidence boost and we were able to, you know, just grind through it. If they score, they score two, they score three, it doesn't matter the score. We keep on playing and it, we just fight till the end, until the final whistle blows. It's like the second to third quarter came in. I think we started working a little bit harder. We maintained more possession. Uh, we had a lot more chances and we were just creating overall like a better kind of come back to the 3 3 tie. The mentality came from them really to fight. And we were talking about that, yeah, there's one more clear chance in the game. We assumed that. And I think they kind of manifested this because they wanted it so much. And at the end of the day, they kind of wanted it for each other. And it meant a lot to them. We were kind of just pushing for our last goal and we just needed a goal. So I was just hoping that we could get one. It's a really good game, I can say. They were a very great team too. I think if we had like a more of a time, we should have won the game. I have to give credit to them. It's a very, very good team. I'm the coach, still on staff. It was special for me because of the history they had. They had so many trophies and all. And all the sports, the other sports that they play, it's like a, it's a good community. And like uh, the stadium was humongous. It was definitely one of the coolest stadiums I've seen.
or I do get inspiration from that after seeing the Champions League, the one, two Champions League and a couple of Europa League titles. So I get inspired by stuff like that. So I try to do better. I think it's been awesome. Our team has gone along together. I feel like I've been making friends. The competition is awesome, and you never get to play teams like this at around this age to travel across the world and play in Portugal. Their museum was like huge and I think that like all their history kind of come from that so like I think it's like really important for their club to like see how much they grew like being from like not so big of a club to like a really big club. It's our last game here in Portugal. It's our last chance to make a good impression. We got to play out there like there's no tomorrow because there is no tomorrow really. We gotta go out there, play in our best game, because if we don't, we're all gonna regret it. So let's go out there, keep the ball one touch, two touch, and let's go out there, have a great game. And the subs, make sure to be ready, because your time will come. Yeah, I go. 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 It's difficult under any circumstances. Back-to-back -back games against high-level opponents are a challenge. It's hard and it's a true test of the kids and they've been fantastic. We all played together. We were all communicating compared to the first game that we had. We were all talking and like encouraging each other. It's hard to be like a little bit more like play as a team since I was the last game. So I think we had a lot more like a little bit more chemistry like compared to like the first game played to the last. We were finally like finishing our chances. We started passing the ball more, not just dribbling. I mean, it just felt good having the last game end on a win. We went undefeated. I mean, five goals, a good way to end it. We were all happy. It was very really emotional because I knew I, I had to score a goal because I didn't want to lose the trip without scoring a goal, especially because I'm an attacker. And I felt mad and happy at the same time because I knew they should have came a long time ago. All my friends were happy for me as well, so it was very really fun and we all got to celebrate. It was amazing. I mean, I haven't really been anywhere, and I guess I'm, most of these players haven't, so it's really an unbelievable experience to be around uh, the city and just to tour and just have some fun. It just looks so beautiful. I mean, there was a full made river, there were cracks, it looked, it looked old, we went up a hill going through like the way they lived and it just looked, looked beautiful, it was very nice.
It felt really great. Cause it felt like a little practice session because to walk down all, all the way to the stairs, and come back down. So it was, it was pretty good. I enjoyed the the building. They were really old. They looked more of like a castle. It was a really cool bridge. I mean, it was very huge, very big bridge. I've never been in that type of height before. I mean, I had to like cope with it. It was really, it was a really good bridge too. Well, that's the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All the music and the, like the sightseeing that you could see off the bridge was really beautiful. The trip, it was fun because we were like all together and we like got to go to different places where we've never been. Hi, this is a deal. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't do it.